Everything we've ever observed, every galaxy, star, and planet, exists in just a tiny fraction of the universe. The observable universe. The real universe might be infinitely larger. Right now, the most distant light we see comes from galaxies 46.5 billion light years away, even though the universe is only 13.8 billion years old. How? Cosmic expansion. The universe has been stretching since the Big Bang, meaning those galaxies have been moving away, making their actual distance much greater. Think of it like standing in a foggy field. You can only see so far before the fog obscures everything. The same happens with our cosmic horizon. Light from beyond hasn't had time to reach us. So, how big is the whole universe? A hundred times bigger? A thousand? Infinite? We don't know. Some theory suggests it's at least 250 times larger than what we can observe, while others propose it's boundless. If the universe is infinite, there could be countless galaxies, stars, and even versions of you living slightly different lives. But what's beyond what we can see? Does the universe just end? Probably not. Most scientists believe it extends far beyond our view, possibly infinitely. But since light from those distant regions hasn't reached us, they remain forever hidden. Imagine standing in the ocean, looking at the horizon. You know the ocean continues beyond what you see. The universe is similar, limited not by obstacles, but by the speed of light and cosmic expansion. But what if the universe isn't infinite? Some models suggest if you traveled far enough, you'd loop back to where you started, like walking around a giant sphere. This would mean the universe is finite but unbounded, like Earth's surface which has a limited area but no edge. We may never know for sure since light from those regions will never reach us. And if the universe extends beyond what we can see, could it be part of something even larger? Massive cosmic structures suggest so. Scientists once believed the universe was homogenous on a large scale, meaning it should look the same everywhere. But we found things that defy that idea. Recently, astronomers discovered the Big Ring, a galaxy structure 1.3 billion light years across. That's 13,000 times the size of the Milky Way. This shouldn't exist according to our models. And it's not alone. The Hercules Corona Borealis Great Wall stretches 10 billion light years, so vast that light itself takes 10 billion years to cross it. These discoveries challenge our understanding. If such massive structures exist, does that mean the universe is even bigger than we think? Could there be regions beyond our sight where the universe follows different rules? Not only is the universe vast, but it's also expanding faster than we expected. That's where one of the biggest cosmic mysteries comes in. Dark energy. For decades, scientists measured how fast the universe grows, called the Hubble Constant. But there's a problem. Different methods give different answers, creating a conflict called the Hubble Tension. Not only is the universe expanding, but it's accelerating. Galaxies aren't just moving apart. They're doing so at an increasing rate. What's driving this? We don't know, but we call it dark energy, a mysterious force making up 68% of the universe. If this continues, it could one day rip everything apart in an event called the Big Rip. But what if space isn't just expanding randomly? What if it follows hidden structures? That's exactly what scientists are discovering. If you zoom out far enough, the universe isn't just scattered galaxies. It has structure. The cosmic web is an interconnected network of dark matter and galaxies, stretching across hundreds of millions of light years. Filaments act as highways, funneling galaxies into dense superclusters, while vast voids separate them. Scientists map this using gravitational lensing where light bends around massive objects, revealing hidden structures. One major revelation, dark matter seems to hold it all together. Normal matter, everything we see, makes up only 5% of the universe. 
dark matter accounts for 27%. Without it, the cosmic web wouldn't exist. So what does this mean? The universe isn't just expanding. It's doing so in a structured way, forming massive cosmic walls and voids. But is there a limit? Could the universe be finite, wrapping around itself, or does it stretch infinitely? Current measurements suggest space is flat. If true, that means traveling in a straight line would never bring you back to your starting point. You'd just go on forever. If the universe is infinite, there could be endless galaxies beyond our view. And if you go far enough, because particles can only arrange themselves in so many ways, you might find another version of yourself, living a slightly different life. In fact, there could be infinite copies of you. But what if the universe is finite with no edges? Some theories suggest space curves like a sphere. Imagine walking in one direction on Earth. You'd eventually end up where you started. The same could be true for the universe. Scientists search for repeating patterns in opposite parts of the sky, which could indicate space loops around itself. So far, we haven't found any evidence of this. But the strangest idea we might be part of a multiverse. If space expands forever, quantum mechanics suggest new universes constantly form, each with different laws of physics. Some might have different forces, particles, or even no matter at all. This means our observable universe might just be one bubble in an infinite cosmic foam. So are we just a random accident in an infinite sea of universes, or is there something deeper connecting it all? The cosmic perspective suggests that understanding our place in the universe can shift how we see ourselves. Every atom in your body was forged in a dying star billions of years ago. You are literally made of stardust. The light from some stars in the night sky has been traveling for millions of years. So when you look up, you're seeing the past. Yes, we are tiny. Yes, the universe is vast. But that doesn't make us insignificant. It makes our existence extraordinary. Despite being cosmic specks, we've built telescopes that peer billions of light years away. We've sent spacecraft beyond our solar system. We are unraveling the mysteries of reality itself. If history has taught us anything, it's that humans are explorers. We once looked across oceans, wondering what lay beyond. Now we look at the stars and ask the same question. And the truth is, we're only at the beginning of this journey. One day we might travel beyond our solar system, maybe even grasp the full scale of the universe. But until then, we are left with wonder. And maybe that's the best part. Because in a universe this vast, the possibilities are endless. And this could all just be the beginning of something even bigger. But that's a story for another time. Don't forget to watch the video on the right and subscribe. Thanks for being part of Cosmonology.